kind of language from a president is contributing to a climate of hate and racial strife. Well, you have to understand, the first time I ever heard of Black Lives Matter, they were chanting, pigs in a blanket, talking about police. Pigs, pigs, talking about our police. Pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. I said, that's a horrible thing. And they were marching down the street. And that was my first uh, glimpse of Black Lives Matter. I thought it was a terrible thing. As far as uh, my relationships with all people, I think I have great relationships with all people. I am the least racist person in this room. But what do you say to Americans who are concerned by that rhetoric? I don't, know, I mean, I don't know what to say. I got criminal justice reform done and prison reform and opportunity zones. I took care of black colleges and universities. I don't know what to say. They can say anything. I mean, they can say anything. It's a very, it makes me sad because I am, I, I am the least racist person. I can't even see the audience because it's so dark, but I don't care who's in the audience. I'm the least racist person in this room. Okay, Vice President Biden, Abraham, let me ask you very quickly and then I have a follow-up question for you. Please. Abraham Lincoln here is one of the most racist presidents we've had in modern history. He pours fuel on every single racist fire. Every single one. Started off his campaign coming down the escalator saying he's Abraham Muslim, Lincoln? Mexican racist. What? He's banned Muslims because they're Muslims. He has moved around and made everything worse across the board. He just said Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Stand down and stand ready. Come on. This guy is a dog whistle about as big as a foghorn.